They were already the RAF's fighting force, and since completing upgrades through Project Centurion, BAE say the Typhoon is now more capable. Equipped with the latest missile systems, they have been supporting troops on operation in the Baltics on their air policing mission and on Operation Shader in Iraq and Syria. So Typhoon is now deployed out in Opshada and as, um, the brimstone weapon has gone kinetic, has seen operations out in Syria this year in, in February, just two months after we declared the operational clearance. So it's really helping that with um, precision um, support to our troops out in Syria now. With Meteor on operations and quick reaction alert out um, in uh, the Balkans and also out on quick reaction alert in north uh, south of the UK. And BAE want to keep developing the typhoon while their engineers look ahead to the Tempest. That's planned to take over from the typhoon and fly alongside F-35s. The work that's going on on Typhoon on its next generation radar, the active electronically scanned array radar that, that's being generated for the later versions of Typhoon, we see that as being a baseline underpin for some of the radar and radio frequency sensor work that we want to do in Tempest that will potentially feed a next generation combat air system. Being ready to deploy quickly is essential. It needs to be ready to react to threats in seconds. For the three years of the Project Centurion upgrade, running alongside it were training and mission planning for the RAF personnel. The other thing uh, Centurion did was ensure that we can go from getting the um, clearances in place, get the weapons on the jet, but also ensure that the training was done and all the workups to make sure our pilots could operate straight off into operations. So that meant we worked with the UK teams together um, in a whole force approach, make sure that the synthetic training was available ahead of the equipment upgrade before the typhoon was there, but ensuring the mission planning and the concepts and doctrine all available uh, to allow immediate operations, really speeded up the enhancements to the jet. Being rolled out to the RAF next year is BAE's SEPTA program. It's almost a data collecting cloud which records all the information a pilot needs before stepping into the cockpit. So firstly we have uh, all the performance data from the aircraft. Um, we're able to input the commander's intent from the air tasking orders and airspace control orders. Uh, we've got the terrain data. We can get live weather data in here as well, so you can see the wind speed and the, the weather conditions during the mission. Um, and obviously uh, all of the, the data from the platform itself. Through the data collecting software, personnel could pre-plan a mission down to the finest of details. This is the system that pilots use to plan missions, to brief and rehearse it, and then actually load the data into the aircraft and go flying. So we've got a mission that we pre-planned here, which is taken off from um, down south, flying up to um, RAF Spade Adam um, up here. Uh, we've got a Paveway 4 attack um, put in here with some targets, which we haven't actually assigned to the route just yet. Um, and this green area you can see is the launch acceptability region for those weapons. Um, and then it comes back down and lands at Wharton. The mission route can also be transferred into these simulators, which helped pilots get in hours of flying before the upgraded typhoons were operational. This is also for mission rehearsal as well, so they can be used to practice what might be played out for real the following day. Basically everything from the mission planning the priming of the jet with all the data, which is the same data in this simulator as you will see on the real aircraft, and actually practicing and practicing until it becomes effectively perfect. Looking at all the different weather conditions that you may not be able to anticipate in terms of the area of interest that they're flying into. SEPTA could cut down the operational planning times for RAF personnel, meaning they and their typhoon could get in position even quicker.